Hello vacuum fanatics everywhere. Yes, it's a vacuum cleaner unboxing and first look and it's probably not going to be a demo of this particular one. This is a model, Hoover model, SC114. It's a Hoover Sprint, very much a budget vacuum cleaner when this was in the shops in the 90s. I've got um, a 90s brochure with this machine in and it's based on the old Hoover Compact. Not just the regular Hoover Compact, it's based on Hoover's Compact that they sold exclusively in co-op stores and possibly the electricity board had this particular shape of compact. I'll show you why it differs to the mass market compact. So pretty basic box. I saw this on eBay and I wasn't even searching for it. But it turned up, you know, as, you ser as you're looking on eBay for other things, suggested products come up at the bottom. And I saw this and I thought, oh, I'm having some of that. And looking at it, it's completely sealed. It's more or less vacuum packed, <laughs> pardon the pun. So I think this one will be fine. Wow. Oh, it's not quite, it's not sealed actually, as in there is some air getting to it, but look at that. Oh, never had one of these when they were in the shops. I was collecting Hoover cleaners when this was in the shops or the catalogues, but never really thought about getting one. So it's not, it's not one of my vacuums that you know I'm trying to get back that I sold it's not one of those but it's one that I'm really pleased to have oh there's no plug on it I was you know I was thinking this would have a plug on it this must predate I think I think it was 1992 that the legislation came in that all electrical appliances had to have a fitted plug. But this certainly is from the night, I'm just being so gentle with it. I mean, if I bought this new, it would have been cheap, cheap. Oh, is there a bird in here? Uh, it would have cost around 60 pounds, I'd say. 60 to 70, That would it would have been classed. Oh, it's very light. It seems intact. We'll pop that to one side, see what sort of toolkit it has. that stuck on there or let me just take off the uh, plastic so this uh, wasn't cheap but there was obviously other collectors bidding for this I don't get into bidding wars on it on eBay I just put in ma a maximum bid and then just forget about it and you know, I often don't even look at the auction when it's finishing. Often I'm not around when it's finishing. So the first I know about it, I have an email. Well, it's a very, very dumbed down cheap toolkit. I've never seen the toolkit for this because in the brochure, it only shows the machine itself. I don't think it ever shows the tools. It's still better than Chinese. Well, check where this is made. I'm. I'm feeling it's made in France, this one. All the ones were before. But this has got um, a flexible hose rather than a stretch hose. The earlier compacts had a stretch hose. Um, they would have had a, a thicker handle. Um, and some of the compacts had the sort of um, pistol grip type handle. But this, this is the same type of hose that Hoover had on their Galaxy cleaners. The Galaxy was around at the same time this was in the shops. So plenty of Hoover cleaners I've got with this little trigger suction control on it. And that's just your classic Hoover compact hose end that goes into the cleaner with the arrow on it that you line up on the machine itself. But that, that's not bad length. As I said, it's budget, budget, 
You don't even have the pip fitting tools, it's just friction fit. They're a little bit scuffed, but that's how they would have been when they put them in the box in the factory. Again, these are the same tools you get with the Galaxy. Um, apart from the more deluxe Galaxy, it did have chrome tubes, I seem to remember, I think. I'm not sure, I think it did. And push fit. Only got two small tools. Well, that is a good nozzle, but there's no litter pickers on this one. They would have been on higher end vacuums. I mean, how much money would that have saved Hoover not to put litter pickers on? But anyway, I still like this style of nozzle. I always have done. Uh, it used to be in Telios. It's got that nozzle. Many other cleaners of this era had that shape. And a little stubbly crevice tool, but still better than those tiny, tiny ones with the little brush on the end that you get nowadays. And finally, a very different tool. You wouldn't have got like the contour nozzle that's, uh, ooh, well, I'm, I'm saying it's very basic and it does feel quite basic, but look, it at least has a metal base plate. Lovely shiny metal, litter picker, this little textured bit, I think that was to aid in the picking up of dirt. And you've got twin pedals here. It looks a bit similar in shape to a nozzle that Hoover would have supplied. Um, but it's certainly, it's cheapened. Got your pedal for lowering the brush. So the brush goes completely around the perimeter of this one. No mark on it, no Hoover branding, so that could have been made by anyone. There we are, so there's that. And finally, we have... I'm the first person to touch this since it went to the factory, since whoever put it in the box in the factory. So this covers the Sprint SC114 and the Sprint SC116. They had more than one cleaner named Sprint, but the other Sprint was a completely different body shell to this. It was the more uh, boxier, newer compact style. So I don't know if that's going to show. They might have done one this style with cord rewind. I've never seen that one though. Hmm, SC116. So basically it's the same, but it does have, yeah, those in auto, auto cord rewind on that one. Very basic, but it's comp it's a compact basically. It's it's a Hoover compact body shell. It does have 1992, which is which does tie in with what I was thinking, and it's printed in France. So what's the betting that the vacuum was made in France in the Dijon factory? And there's this. I've had plenty of these. Hoover direct order department in Bolton. If you want to get bags and bits and bobs for your Hoover cleaner, so you can have Turbo Power and Turbo Master, a pack of 10 H4 bags and one air freshener would set you back seven pounds. For a pack of 10 Hoover Junior bags and two belts, it would cost eight. For the Vogue, for 10 bags, one air freshener and two filters, it would cost you eight pounds. For the Sensotronic, 10 bags, one air freshener, three filters, eight pounds. Aqua Master, Aqua Plus, Aqua Jet, six pound for ten bags. Turbo Power Two, six pound. Uh, sorry, six bags, two mic filters, two belts, seven pounds. And for the Sprint, which is this model, they are just offering ten bags for six pounds. Wow! Look at that. I'm surprised. What is you know about the? I have to think. Oops. I thought this stage we would have had a fitted plug. So here it is. So it differs, as I said, to the compacts that are available everywhere. Um, this is more like the co-op shape. I've got some leaflets that had the co-op exclusive. And I said, as I said earlier, I think the electricity board had an exclusive compact and it had this shape bag door and it had this grill um, that goes this way the mass market compact. I unboxed the green one a long time ago on my channel. Just, it was more or less like this with just a single rocker switch, no um, cord rewind, but the grill on that goes this way. Now, what I'm thinking is, because it's so old, there will be a foamy material inside here. And 
I might take the top off and see how that's fared because it might have perished so when I turn it on at some stage maybe not in this video I'm afraid because there's no plug um, it might just blow all that out of the back of the machine but there's the cord see it's unthinkable now even on cheap 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 vacuums it's unthinkable that you would have a vacuum with no let's pull that out Oof, automatic cord rewind so obviously on the cord rewind model the, the cord and the plug would store here you'd rewind to press the rewind pedal and it would go in there's nowhere really to store it on that is there i don't know if it shows on the instruction book if they show it wrapping around anywhere i'm not sure No, there's no no mention of it. Can't see anything. There's no mention of anywhere to store the cord. Let's have a look underneath. Yeah, it's just a compact. As I say, very cheap and dumbed down compact. Two wheels, even that feels cheaper. Have they done away with a tire, I think? They've even done away with the tyre that used to be on the little caster wheel there. So, made in France. Probably some of the last cleaners to be made in France, actually. Because sometime in the 90s, Hoover closed the factory in Dijon and transferred the production to Camberslang in Scotland. But as we all know, it wasn't much longer. And then Camberslang was also closed. And all production, sadly was moved to China but of course most manufacturers did that not just Hoover so Hoover model SC 11403 230 240 volts 50 Hertz number 21201618 registered trademarks made in France and we've got here the blank Blanking piece that would have had on the total system models and I believe even on some of the cheaper models the earlier models may have still had the socket for an optional power hose and um, or power nozzle so I did have and that would be a pretty rare cleaner now I had the compact total system based on this body shape certainly at the bottom the cream color sort of cream and caramel color with the electrokinetic head it had a power hose but it also you plugged a little wire that came out the end of the hose you plugged it into the power socket and there were later versions that also incorporated a power hose oh they were good machines they were good i do like this to symbolize trying to get it out of the light of the reflection there sprint 1000 so did it did i tell you the wattage does it actually say don't think it did. Oh, yes, it does. 1,000 watts, obviously. And you got your regular piston bag check indicator. So. Ah, there is a date wheel, folks. And the date wheel is pointing to 92 and March. March 92 is when this particular part was molded oh look Whew. i wonder why they've done that this is certainly factory fresh so this is where it would have been that's odd isn't it if somebody hadn't checked that before using the cleaner that was blocking the filter more bump on your hoover care cover if you wanted that reusable bag still Here's the other shape compact. This was the later. Oh, there were some good little vacuums. Especially the. I've, oh, there is a, actually an old, old video of this, a very short one, of when I had this model in blue, the compact electronic total system. That was a brilliant, brilliant little vacuum with a turbo 300 head. Even the bags have got sort of cheaper looking, less print on them. But you've got your slide so you can reuse it. Obviously no spare bags, is there supplied? It is a double layer. 
you've got the inner layer there and the outer paper layer and you've got the uh, round filter Just fold fold the end slide the clip this is what people used to do folks with bagged you used to slide the clip off empty them and reuse but uh, most manufacturers would only recommend using three times maximum but they soon did away with the reusable feature so you had to just replace the bag motor obviously it's located behind here and that's your typical compact pre-motor filter no no post motor filter really there will be as i said a, a black diffuser um mm, has it got one of those funny things on oh it's got one of those star shaped things i don't know if i've got my toolbox so um i won't switch this one on oh the motor looks very far back mm, that is odd you won't be able to see but in compacts I've had previously, you could see the motor quite clearly right up against this grill part. But looking through it, there's at least a couple of inches of space. So perhaps it's a smaller motor that's in these. It certainly feels lighter. Be interesting to compare it to the green compact. So I'm just going to pop it together and give you a few more shots. But that's it, I'm afraid. The lack of the plug means I won't be switching on today but also I do really need to check the condition not only of the, the diffuser but it probably has some foam insulation around the motor unless they did away with that for this very cheap model and I have a feeling that they that will perish very simple way you put the bag in it's, it's a little clip at the front this little plastic clip here basically you just locate the bag at the bottom in the just in the groove push it forward until it just clips into position and you could open out the bag a bit like that pop the bag door back on and you can see that the bag has got a little sort of um, rubbery seal so when you actually put the hose on it forms forms a bit of a seal to keep the dust in the bag it's going to be oh 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 heck that made a cracking noise folks let's just have a look i think it's all right i think it's just there might have been a little bit of a plastic uh, burr sticking out, you know, they won't have uh, really been too concerned with quality control at this sort of price point, as long as it... Yeah, that's okay. That's all. Anyway, it's another old Hoover. It's still, to me, it's, I would still call this a decent vacuum. A decent budget priced vacuum but I think really when this was in the shops I would say Electrolux were probably making better cylinder vacuums than Hoover I always liked Hoover back in the day but since getting some of the Electrolux vacuums from the 90s you know they were better where hand on my heart you know I was so into Hoover that I couldn't accept that anything was better but yes, there was <laughs> better than this out there, but this is certainly better than a budget cleaner you can buy today. I can guarantee that. There we are. That's it then, folks. That's the Hoover Sprint 1000 SC114. And that's one that's definitely not going to be sold well it will eventually one day but yeah sorry i can't turn it on for you today i will at some point um i might do a little demo with it i suppose i'll get some other bags i won't use the original bag i have got some other ones i think 
So there you go, folks. If you have any questions or any comments about this Hoover Sprint 1000 vacuum, please comment below. Until the next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all very soon. Bye for now.